Hi guys, Sally from 7 Year Right here and in this video we're going to talk about the biggest mistake that new paddle players make when it comes to the movement around the court. Now, that big mistake is that they don't do the split step. The split step is a bounce on your toes when your opponent contacts the ball and that prepares you to move around the court and helps you get an early preparation so you're ready to play. Tennis players do this quite naturally because it's the same process in tennis. When your opponent contacts the ball, you bounce on your toes and then you can immediately move into the position that you need to and therefore be nice and early when you're ready to hit the ball. In this video, watch the feet of Bella and Lima in the orange at the far end when Paquito contacts. You can see that bounce just as he contacts the ball so that they can prepare to move in whichever direction they need to. It's been scientifically proven that the ankle joint moves faster if you have a bounce than if you don't have a bounce. And I won't bore you with the stretch shortening cycle, but it basically is a system that your muscles, when they stretch rapidly before a contraction, the contraction is more powerful. And what that means is basically, when you bounce on your toes, your ankle joint and the muscles around your ankle joint are stretching slightly so that when you push off, you have a much more powerful push off and you can push off around the core. Another important factor for the split step is once you've done the split step, you've got to move into that position where the ball's going to be and prepare nice and early. There's no point doing the split step and then going back onto your heels and waiting for the ball to come. Otherwise, you didn't need to bother doing the split step in the first place. I should also mention that you do the split step wherever you are on the court and whichever shot you're going to play. So if you're at the back or volleying or preparing for a bandeja, you've got to split on your toes when your opponent contacts the ball, no matter where you are, and then start preparing for that next shot. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.